topic or doing interviews. You'll find her with celebrities and all the latest news. She's here, she's there, she's everywhere, she's always on the go. So sit back, relax, and get ready. This is the Corey Taylor Talks everybody and welcome to Corey Taylor Talks live from Las Vegas. I am very excited about my guest today. Um, first, I we have Nathan with The Haunted Maze. I absolutely love your place. It is just amazing. Every year it gets better and better. All the characters you have, I mean, it's just, it's so phenomenal. It's like a Hollywood set you're walking through. Your actors are great, so I'm so excited you're doing it again this year. Well, I'm happy to be doing it again for the city. Yes. Um, uh, like you said, I mean, Many people have said the same thing. They're very excited for it, you know, all year long. I can't wait for the Halloween maids to come back. Yes. What, are you are you going to be the same location? The answer for this year is no. We're actually at a different location this year. Um, if you go on Google, you'll find the location with the Google Maps. Um, it's literally two minutes away from our last location. It's on Flamingo and Durango. Those are the cross streets. Um, so we actually are double the size. Oh, wow. So the experience in the walkthrough will be actually about double the length. That's awesome. Um, and we'll have some new effects and features which will be a nice surprise. And now let's say the characters, per usual the past two seasons, for the third season it will be completely different again. So, um, And we had, on a busy night last uh, last year, we had overflow staff. We were about 23 actors. We'll have 33 actors this year. Oh, my so. gosh. Wow. And we'll try to even spread them out a little more because we yeah. kind of had two to three characters per area last year. Um, so now we, we still want to keep it busy in that way. There's always somebody around you, right. but that way that makes a little bit more anticipation building for the next character uh, without having a lot of you know dead space right. you know, um, in between each, each part. Oh, now, right. um, yeah, so that's that's it. That's no, I, I didn't know that you were, so where's your new location this year gonna be? Um, let me tell you actually, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and we'll have like a, a up here too with everything too, and so people can check out everything. It is 8665 West Flamingo Road. Okay, perfect. 89147 in Las Vegas, Nevada. So even bigger and better this yes. year then. Yeah. yeah, well, I mean, like I said, I mean, before it was huge. I'm so excited to see what you guys do with it this year. And, and I think that's cool that you're doing it where it is the anticipation, but you still get tons of actors. Yes. And, and But your your sets are amazing, too. Like I said, it really feels like you're on a Hollywood film set. Like, it, you, you were right there with them, and it brings it so much more to life. So. And we're trying to keep that trend going, you know, and the, the best part is all year long thinking of creative new things to do, you know. And obviously, I reuse some of the same set props, but we try to change it up so that way of course. it's familiar but still completely different, you know. Um and that's the, the cool thing about what we do every year is we want to make it something new for everyone to come and be excited about. You know, rather, I mean, yes, people like to go to things and there's things that they like and they look forward to seeing the cer certain things every year, but we want to make it a surprise every year. It's like a new movie coming out every summer, a new Halloween movie coming into uh, the end of September, October. Yeah. You get excited for something like that again. But it's some of your favorite classic things, but the majority of it is, is new. Yeah. Um, and again, it's it's great to be able to have a lot of different actors and give them the opportunity to come perform, and uh, even some new people, you know, that yeah. get excited about Halloween and never thought they'd be able to be a scare actor inside a haunted house. So I like having that opportunity to do that for people, and yeah. also for some of the younger kids. Yeah, you know, their first job as you know job opportunity. You know, they yeah. get to say they were a scare actor in a haunted house, which is so, so cool. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> no, they really and they're really good actors too, and they they get really into character. I mean, they really do a great job. You get excellent people for it. So it just it really brings everything to life. So I'm excited. And so I, I know you have a, a special guest this year. Can we talk about that? Yeah, yeah, that's I'm, exciting. Uh, so this is our third season. You know, I wanted yeah. to try to build a following a little bit before yes. we got anything extra like this. Of course. Um, so yeah, this year we'll bring in our first special guest actor. Um, he was actually in the remake of Texas Chainsaw Massacre in 2003. Mm -hmm. He was originally cast for the character and he ended up getting sick on the set after the first uh, yeah. scene that he filmed. Uh, his name is Brett Wagner. He actually was the guy known as Killing Kemper, the boyfriend of Jessica Beale, And um, <laughs> it was the Kemper kill. He killed him with a sledgehammer. So it was the first time he got to see 
Leatherface right. in the remake. So when we, I remember when he, you, you see the eye looking through the little people, yep. and then you know the guy goes in the room, the TV, and he's kneeling down, and then you just see the hammer shot. Yes. So we actually did a really cool commercial to kind of reenact that, to tease Brett. Oh, that's on our social media. Fun. So to kind of you know give everyone the reminder of what he had done, yep. and um, you know kind of give him an opportunity to kind of put the suit back on again and yeah. and relive that moment, and also get get fans excited for something fun and you know to really come out and meet brett um he'll be in costume for autographs oh and photos. that's cool so, be, um, oh, wow. so he'll be there for the uh, 6th and the 7th so friday the 6th and seventh, uh, saturday the 7th all night long um so come down you have an opportunity to meet him and he'll do sign autographs as well cool. um we'll also have which i didn't you know we didn't talk about earlier what's uh we're offering the coffin ride experience some people have seen it at other haunts before so you get an opportunity to get shut inside a live coffin and uh, the, you know, there's some hydraulics and stuff like that, yes. so it makes you feel like it's moving around and it uh, plays with that that fear of claustrophobia yes. a little bit. And uh, it'll be a fun little experience people get to try out if they're if they're interested in doing something like that. No, I haven't done that before, and it's actually really fun. I don't have like claustrophobia and stuff, but I, it was still so much fun. And I'm sure if you do have, you're like, oh my gosh, what's going on? It's great. It's a really fun thing. So that's cool that you added that. Yeah. So because so, eventually, you know, I'd I'd like to make this really big. So you yes. know, every year, we grew a little bit. From last year from the first year, I think the first year we were about four and a half minutes walk through. Yeah. Last year, and we used the same building from the first year to the second year. Right. Last year, we really maximized the space the most we could. If you went through slow, you're about six minutes. If you went through fast, five minutes. Yeah. Um, this year, we're, we've done some test walkthroughs, but mind you, we know where things are. Yeah. With just doing that, was eight minutes with wow. knowing where everything was. Wow. And um, we have some things now. There'll be a lot of things that are tricky to get through far as exiting rooms. So oh, it's not cool. necessarily okay. escape room, but there'll be some exits and hiding in plain sight. Cool. We'll have a lot of actors also hiding in plain sight. Yes. Um, so it's going to be a lot more slower pace where the actors will kind of control the pace, okay. which will make the guest uh, experience a lot longer. Of you course. Know, yeah. One thing that we've been fortunate for is everyone that's ever come has said it's been amazing. The best thing you know that they've seen, which is great to hear. Yeah. You know, because me and I just started to do this a few years back. That's awesome. I makes me feel good about it. it. Means I'm heading in the right direction. You are. And the only thing we had heard that was negative feedback was, it was a little bit too short. You know. Um. So I was like, okay, well, how do I improve that? So we got a bigger location. So now we're we're trying to we want to make the guests happy. So when they come, we want to make sure their experience is one of the best experiences they've had at a horror. Uh, attraction that we can do yeah you know obviously you can't make everyone happy you know but I want to try my best to make everyone happy so no honestly I you know I've been through so many different haunted houses throughout the years and stuff I mean not just in Vegas just everywhere and but yours stands out so much I mean it, you and for only doing it two years and now three I mean how much you've been able to succeed I just I can't even imagine what's in store for this year and beyond and you have great ideas and you're really passionate about it and it, it shows so much and it, it just it turns out phenomenal and it goes I think above what anyone can expect so I think the one thing you know I learned early on in life is if you love what you do you're never working yeah so if you enjoy it and you have fun with it you can just you can you know the sky's the limit right so right. being able to go to do that at the end of the day, between that and my other job, it's like I'm, you know, it's not, it's not work. But right. but sleeping four hours a night for three months, you know, <laughs> it makes it worth it because you know yeah. to be able to, to reveal that experience to people and make people happy and excited about it. And again, I can't wait till next year. Mm -hmm. It gets me really excited to know I'm doing the right thing. Especially you know, I created this for the city and for things to do for the yeah. community and. I want it because people keep asking me, make it near the strip, you know, bring alcohol. And I'm like, no, I don't want it like that. I want it to yeah. be a, a family thing. I want people to bring their families out, bring their kids out. I do want other people from other states to come here, which last year we actually had a lot of taxis come up, which yeah. is nice. We actually had a lot of people like that. So I'm hoping that trend comes. We have a lot of California people, we have a lot of Arizona people, Utah. Um, it'd be nice to start getting some East Coast people. Yeah. You know, so then I know I'm really in the right direction. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I want to eventually be known as, you know, Halloween maze in Las Vegas is one of the Halloween destinations I want to go to for sure yeah. in October. You know, so that's that's the ultimate goal. Well, I mean, like I said, you've already been so successful. And it takes a while to usually build up a following, but you have already gained such a following and huge respect, too, from the community. And, and you know, Vegas, unfortunately, it doesn't have as much, like, 
family stuff or Halloween stuff as you would think, but you really bring it to life. And tourists, it's it takes like what fifteen minutes for yeah, the strip yeah. to get there. It's yeah. so easy to get there. Um, so I'm every, anywhere in Vegas, it's fine. It's fine. So your location's perfect, and it's great for the locals. Right off the strip for the tourists, it takes. 15 minutes to get there it's just really great so I it and I think it'll just get better and better every year and now with Brett coming in I mean it's just really great ideas you have coming up so yeah I mean I'm looking forward to you know seeing how this season goes I think it's going to be a big turnout and um you know and uh you know so make sure everyone hopefully everyone tells their friends and yeah. they come more than once you know last year we had a bunch of people come more than one time I had a lot of yeah. people that come out that said they would never go in a haunted house <laughs> and they came through mine yeah. and they said it was the best thing they've ever done they came back again also, we are uh, handicap accessible. That's very you know, cool. A lot, of, a lot of people, they don't have the opportunity to go through different haunted houses Absolutely. because of certain limitations they have. Right. We had two people in wheelchairs last year. One guy straight up was crying at the end, not because he was scared, <laughs> but he said, I, he, he, he was my age. He's 30 years old. He was like, I've, I've never been had an opportunity to go through a haunted house before. That's so cool. And so then that's, again, why we're doing this. We yeah. want people to have a memorable, fun experience. I mean, yeah. I want people to be scared, but I want to be scared in a good way. Yes. I always compare it to like a roller coaster. You know, I hate roller That's coasters, good. but when I go on it, once I get off, I'm like, I'm so glad I did that. Yeah. It was it was a lot of fun. You know, so that's, I'm trying to kind of create that same experience. It gives you that little bit of anxiety. But once you go in there, you realize it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of cool visual stuff to look yeah. at. Like you said, yes. kind of like movie sets, things that... The regular person that's not going to be going to Hollywood or seeing any of these things right. regularly, you get kind of an opportunity to see that. Also, as far as the actors, some of the costumes we use, the, the mask, costumes are the phenomenal. makeup, yes. uh, they're like, wow, this stuff is incredible. And, and it's just a good opportunity and overall experience for everybody involved. Yes. No, it's so true. And and uh, like you said, it's just the whole point of Halloween is to get scared and in, in, in a fun way. Like you said, yeah. it's not ter- it's it's a fun time. That's what you want, and you really succeed with it. And I, it just it's a blast to go through, and it's great for so many different ages and a great bonding experience. Or fan- yeah. it's just it's really phenomenal, I, and it's perfect for Halloween time. I mean, how can you get any better? So well, basically, I always tell because the first thing people always ask, me, well, how scary is it? And I'm like. <laughs> I don't measure the success by how scared you get. Right. It's about how much fun you have. Yes. I want you to have a good time. Because if you leave and tell all your friends this was the most horrifying thing I've ever seen, three of them will be interested. Right. Seven of them will not want to come. Right. So for some people, again, I mean, don't get me wrong, it is scary. You know, for some people, it's very scary. Yeah. But I have some kids, five, six years old, they go through and they absolutely love it. Yeah. You know, no, so, it's true. Um, I, you know, last year, I remember I had a young boy come with his dad before I opened... Um, and I was in there late at night and they were trying to open the door and I heard him. So I opened it up and I talked to him and I actually brought him in with his son to kind of give him like a little behind the scenes tour. That's he said his dad, he said the dad said he was bringing them there every day because he couldn't wait for it to open. That's so cool. And I think the son, he had to anywhere from seven, eight, you know, wow. and he was a little, he, he was, he was a little wise guy <laughs> and uh, he's like, I can't wait to come. I'm not scared of nothing, you know? And then I remember it was the opening night, um, I was setting up stuff outside of the table and he's standing to my right and he's wearing a Halloween Maze t-shirt and he's like, hey, you remember me? I'm like, well, of course I remember. His name was Scotty, actually. <laughs> and um, his dad's name was Scott. <laughs> and uh, like, yeah, are you ready? He's like, oh yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready. And I was I was actually performing in the Haunted House last year in the, or in the first year mm. and uh, I was the end character and by the time he got to me, he was crying <laughs> so much. I felt horrible, you know, and then... Right. As he was, he, he he didn't want to move, and you know I I, I lifted my mask. He was walking out, and he, he kind of wiped his tears and he smiled. Yeah. And that he went through with his dad, and he, and, he, and he fist bumped me, you know, That's and he realized cool. you know it wasn't yeah. real, and um and then two nights later, he came back again with his grandfather, oh, wow. and he came through again, and he was completely fine. That's and cool. And he's give me thumbs up as he's at the end. That's so. really cool. It's a cool again. It's I mean it's definitely makes you feel good to know that you're doing the right thing yeah and for the reasons you're doing it you know yeah. so um i tried to do a lot of charity work we talked about that last year yeah. uh, for the community so this has now been like my give back yeah right so so it's awesome it's, it's good to be able to do that no and you know I, honestly i was going to haunted houses when i really should have i was probably like three and stuff going through them but it made me love it yes. so much so i mean yes it's scary and stuff for the kids but that's how you build them up to it and, yes, it's, and they feel important too like you they you want to go their parents want to take you and stuff it's just it's a cool thing and so 
Yeah. It's a really great, it's a great time for everyone. I always tell, uh, you know, parents, because they're like, oh, my kid's too scared. And I'm like, they're going to be like that for the rest of their life. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's true. Make them go through. <laughs> and on the flip side of that, I remember the first year, the kids want to go, and then the mom or dad is like, all right, we're going. And then they don't want to go, and we don't do refunds, unfortunately. Right. It's, yeah, once you buy it, it's done. Because, right. you know, if you chicken out, that's on you. Yeah. yeah um, but, so, the parents are like, we paid, you're going in. And they're like, I'm not going in. The parents are trying to, like, drag the kids are holding onto the door, like like a scary movie. And they're, you're going in. And then eventually they go in. And, uh, and you know, but it, it is funny because you, you never know what you're going to get from person to person. Right. Some people really, especially the bodybuilder guys, you know, I work in a gym and I have a lot of professional bodybuilder friends. And uh, they're all scared to go through. Yeah, yeah. Which is really weird to me. but. <laughs> All, most of those guys are all scared, so they'll peacock. The ones that do go through, yeah. I, I know it's not real. Well, yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm so you happy think, for you. You think, you know. <laughs> so we, we get that, and then we do have people that really admire it, like yourself, that come through, and they're really trying to, like, look over everything, and, yeah. oh, that's cool, look at that detail, yeah. look at the mask. And, well, it scares yeah. me, too. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that I'm not that brave, but it's it's just, you get the whole experience, yeah. which is what's so cool about yeah. it, yeah. And congratulations for people that know it's not real. I'm yeah. very happy for you. But you still, you live in it. That's yeah. what so, makes it so much you know, fun. So yeah. if, I, if I say the same thing, you know, I mean, that's, if you come out, you know, come out to have fun. Yes. You know, we're, that's the whole point we're here it. to entertain you. Yes, and you we want, are very successful yeah, we, at we it. We want yeah. you to have fun. This We've been doing this now for now three years. We know what we're doing. Yes. We're here to make you have a good time. So if you're coming out and you're just trying not to have a good time, then don't even come. Right. I mean, this doesn't make any sense. It's pointless. And I know yeah. people, some people do drag their friends there that, <laughs> that are scared, but then they're, now they're not scared when they're going through right. because they got to put on that show. But, uh, you know, come out, have a good time, you know. Yeah. I promise you will if you learn to be that little inner child and like those movies and yes. you know and uh, all that stuff so uh, yeah, it's yeah, it's a good time no it's it, it really is a blast and I mean your promotion for it it's just every you really think of every little detail on it and I it just keeps getting more and more successful and people I I, I know they spread the word um, and they should because it just it's amazing and it's it brings it really to life and makes Halloween in Vegas, a staple. So, and, and that's the one thing you just touched on. I mean, really, because again, this is you know, I've been known for personal training now for yeah. going into thirteen years, oh. and um, I I didn't know much of anybody in the horror community or anything like this, and it, it's been literally a word of mouth. It's yeah. literally helped my business from the first year grow into double the next year, hopefully yeah. to the same thing this year, and literally just everyone sharing it and spreading the word. Um, it's I'm very. Uh, privilege to feel you know to see that happen you know um um we talked about you know special events like with brett I, we have um also our general nights were open our thursday through sunday okay Perfect. we are open a monday which is the 16th we call it our industry night we'll have a special guest dj there and also it's awesome. dedicated towards our industry workers that can't come out thursday through sunday right. they you know they're working or whatever so right. now they have opportunity to bring their kids or and or a date night or with their friends or whatever yeah. on that on that industry night um, and then we're also having a special event for Friday the 13th. Oh, uh, we call oh it cool. Camp, it'll be called Counselor's Revenge. So if I you love dress it. like a camp counselor, <laughs> you will get a discounted rate. That is awesome. Um, so it's something fun we're doing for that as well. Right. Um, and then obviously the final week before Halloween will be open from Tuesday to Tuesday. We'll call it, we just call it our Hell Week. So it will be open those little few extra days for people that couldn't come again on the weekend. Yeah. That Tuesday, Wednesday, and then all the way to the following week. Monday into Halloween on thirty first on Tuesday this year. Yeah. So. No, that's and you know Vegas. It's so difficult because it is a twenty four hour town and everyone works every day, every shift, everything. So that's great that you have that. So it is different times and dates where people can bring their families yeah. and actually do it. So that's a very smart idea. And also, we, we are offering um you know we're offering an early bird discount if you use the code creepy up creepy. until October. <laughs> uh, you'll get ten percent off your tickets. Perfect. Um, tickets are thirty to forty thirty dollars general mission. $45 fast pass. They will change $5 more on Hell Week because it is now our busier times. Absolutely. So I highly recommend getting your tickets early. Yeah. You know, get that discount, pay it ahead. That way you know you're committed to it. And then obviously, if you want to avoid some of the lines, come a little bit earlier. Yeah. Because that's the one thing. Be like, oh, the lines are so long. Well, if you wait till the last week, yeah. <laughs> because now everyone's been telling everybody all month long yeah. how good it is. And yeah. they were coming back again. So the line, you know, it is a long wait. Of course. But that's why we do offer the Fast Pass yeah. experience. You know, it's the same if you go to Universal or any of these big attractions Everywhere, and Six yeah. Flags. You're going to wait in the line. Yeah. And if you don't want to wait in line, 
you pay for the fast pass. Yeah. You know, and, uh, you know, it's, but, you know, if you wait in line, it's fine. Talk to your neighbor. It's a fun experience. Everyone's ever the same thing. We all got something in common. Yeah. You know, get to know your neighbors, you know, so, um, so yeah, those are the little extra details about the no, season. It's true. And, um, you know, I, everyone does wait till the last week and it's like, no, that's the whole point. You want to spread it out and make the whole month of yeah, October like, you know, I mean, there, there's yeah. other things to go do in the city too. Yes. I mean, it's like, you know, yeah. don't just do it all in one week. I mean, yeah. you can, but again, you have a lot because with all the weight and all that stuff. And plus, obviously the yep. prices are going to go up of course. because of the d- demand, Definitely. you know, so, yeah. um, you know, and it, maybe... Maybe if you go the first week, you're going to be like, wow, you really like that. Mm-hmm. I remember the first time I ever went to Universal Studio for Halloween Horror Nights, I was like, that was the best thing I've ever seen. Yeah. And I could literally have gone back the next day. Yeah. And saw it all again. So, so And it's again, much easier to do that here. And it's much easier <laughs> yeah. now that it's convenient, it's yeah. local for everybody, yeah. you know, so we want to create that same experience. Yeah. Um, you know, so yeah, so it's, it's, uh, it's exciting to see what this this uh, season's going to bring. No, and, you know, I'll, I'll just say, honestly, when we first heard about you the first year, we were like, oh, you don't know, because it was yeah, brand new. new. You have no thing. idea yeah, what yeah, it's yeah. going to be. And a lot of times there was people, and they last uh, not even the full season usually. And so, oh, okay, we'll go check it out. And it was so good. We were like, oh, my gosh, and this is the first year. And then last year it was just even ten times better. It was just you really – knock it out of the park every so, time yeah so some things we're trying to do this year because it, the, some of the feedback we got last year which was everything was awesome loved it loved it loved it it wasn't as scary as the first year yeah. like, interesting huh, and i'm thinking really? about well maybe the characters were little because i do change characters huh. i'm trying to think I'm like you know what because i got a lot more things a lot more different lighting so yeah. the first year i didn't have that much stuff so i had to really maximize with what i had i got you um so i made a lot of dark areas <laughs> I think which makes it scarier for people. Right, I got so you. we're actually kind of going back to that. Okay. We do have a lot more. We've we've definitely added even more things this year, but we're gonna have a lot darker areas again. Awesome. Um, which it'll be very dimly lit, so still safe to get through, and you know, um, we don't we don't put anyone at risk of getting hurt or or tripping and falling or anything. So, um, you'll still be able to see, but yeah. you're still gonna have to be careful and also never know what's around each corner. There you so, go. <laughs> There you go. No, I love it. And uh, where, where's your website so people can follow uh, you? Our website is HalloweenMazeLV.com. Perfect. And uh, you, can, you can see where we're located on there. Also, you can purchase tickets Perfect. on there. and um, Or just go to our Instagram at HalloweenMazeLV on Instagram. Perfect. And you can buy tickets at the door too, correct? You can buy tickets okay. at the door. We do, we do um, you know, all types of card, you know, so you can make it very convenient for everyone that comes down there. Awesome. And we'll also have some new merchandise for this year too. We'll have two nice new shirts. We'll have a poster, so we'll have some, you know, some yeah. things turning into an official real Halloween yes. attraction, you know. So and it, it should be absolutely. Yeah. So well, thank you so much for being on again. Love having you. Can't wait to go this year. I can't wait to see everything that's gonna happen and and see Brett and just everything. Yeah. So it'll be great. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please go check them out, the Halloween Maze. Um, I promise you, you will not regret it. It is one heck of a time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, never give up. Always believe, and you'll achieve. Thank you. God bless. See you there. Thank you.